Hey, what's up guys? So, uh, kind of wanted to do a little project on my truck. Honestly, I don't get to do too much on my projects because I'm doing everyone else's. I was getting a little burnt out. I was like, you know what? Let's do something on mine. I'm gonna get a little more uh, motivated back into it. So, uh, this is old Dixie, my 96 F350. It serves the best. It's my work truck. I've always wanted one, man. I love this truck, I'm not gonna lie. I love this sucker. It always fires up, just pulls good. I pulled out the camper with it. It's a good truck. I love this old, old rust box. But, um, but we're gonna be working on today that I wanna show you guys is the headliner stuff. Um, I've already got it pulled and mocked up and everything, but I wanna just show you, I guess, the ins and outs. I just didn't wanna show you a finished product. So well, we're gonna get that in today. So let me go in the garage and show you the new and old headliner. Um, show you what we're doing today okay guys this was my old headliner and that's how it looked in the truck it it looked like shoot um it's got the old sun visors the corners were just destroyed um this headliner has been through hell um all this stuff was loose i had to put pins in here to hold it up because it'd fall down on your head while you're sitting in there and uh i mean you can see it's loose everywhere this headliner and then these sun visors are just ugly as crap um, and the dome light's okay, um, but it is a pile. So I've always wanted to change it out. It's definitely the ugliest thing on the truck. <coughs> oh God, I'm tired of getting sick, but here's the new headliner. Thing's freaking sick. Um, so we're gonna be rocking the 2000, or I think they did this in the six fours too, but 11 to 16 dome light. Uh, and I got some LED bulbs in there. And then we got a 05 to 2010 overhead console. And then uh, we got 11 to 16 sun visors. So, it's, man, it, it looks really cool just like that. Hey, right, look at that. Crap, beautiful, crap, beautiful. So basically, um, I guess the reason for this video, because I know if I post a picture of this, people are gonna be like, oh my God, how did you do that? So that's what this video is for. I just wanna show you, if you wanna do this to your OBS, you'll know what to expect. That's what we're basically doing here. So I got another headliner out of another OBS that was in a lot better shape. And then I just had, uh, um, I had it mocked up and um, I cut the holes out where everything's supposed to go um, and whatnot. So let me show you. <clears throat> So, so here's the back of it. So I had already cut the holes for the new dome light. I cut the hole for the, the overhead console. I got it all mocked up. Um, the upholstery shop fixed the corners for me that were a little destroyed. And then um, this is the old hole for this guy. So you can see how it went like that. Well, the new one's right there. So let me see. So the new sun visors aren't as long, which is good because I didn't want them to be hitting the overhead console. So these shorter ones are perfect. So you can see where the my new hole's at. And so um, I just had the upholstery shop cover them both over. And um, we're gonna go ahead and cut a little X and then cut an X there. And then um, I'm gonna go ahead and cut this out and get our new dome light on there. And then the headliner will be ready to go in. But uh, I think the, the upholstery shop uh, did all this for me for about a hundred bucks. It's pretty good. <clears throat> so I'm pretty stoked on it. It's pretty cool. And then this is the same fabric that they use like on the 11 to 16 headliners in the Super Duty. So I'm pretty stoked that it's like that. If you zoom in, I guess. I don't know. It looks really good. Better than that. God, that's ugly. So um, let me go to the truck. I'll show you what I have mocked up in the truck. Um, and then we can go ahead and put this in. It, it should go in pretty quick um, Since I already have everything mocked up and done. So let's go ahead to the truck and I'll show you what we're working with Okay <clears throat> So Here we are. So um, one of the first things I'm gonna do is I have an old plug on there for the old dome light um, So I have a new pigtail. So we're gonna have to <clears throat> I have to build a new setup for that. That's just three wires That'll be real quick um, and then I built this wiring harness right here um, and just taped it to the roof so it's out of the way. But it also runs up to my cab lights. Um, and then it also goes for the mirrors on the on the sun visors. 
so the lights on the sun visors will work. So I have it going that way and then dropping down. You can kind of see some of the fresh wire there. And then I just have them run into the back of the headlight switch because you need constant 12 volt and then the parking wires for the marker lights. So <clears throat> um, now this is the bracket for the overhead console. Um, looks like this. Um, I did have to trim these little bumps off because they were hitting the cab right here and everything and then i had to hammer the cab up a little bit because it wouldn't click in both of them it, 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 it didn't want to buckle so i hammered the cab in just a little bit i didn't get too crazy just so it would it would clear this bend right here so trim one two three. Oh, and then there was a nipple right here that i trimmed off too so once you get all those trimmed and then you make these little notches you're good to go so what i did was i took a quarter inch drill bit and a quarter inch drill bit so i drill the hole there drill the hole there and then i come in with my grinder and go vroom, vroom. and then i come in with the quarter inch drill bit basically i know that's not the drill bit but i just come in there and i go vroom, 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 vroom. so quarter inch is perfect for these is the latch into so once i got the front situated and lined up um i came to the back and i tried to make it click into the cab but it was too high, this bump was in the way. I couldn't, it just was not working. So I made this bracket. Um, it's just, I think three inches by 12 inches. And you can see I just put little bends in there and just ran some little sheet metal screws and it's in there pretty solid and sweet. So now we can go ahead and take out this. Yep. And then And boom, she's in. There's our overhead console. She's in there good too. So now that we got that in, um, let me go ahead and do this. And then I think we can put the headliner in, but that bracket was the money saver for the back part for sure. So um, other than that, I think that's pretty much it. But uh, yeah, 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 yeah. So there's our little pigtail. So let me go ahead. Um, let me get this pigtail set up for our dome light. And um, I think we'll be ready to put the headliner in, so. Good game. Okay guys, I got my new pigtail on there. Um, the old wiring doesn't have a ground in there, so I just grounded on the cab right there. And then um, we got it. Um, but I I don't know why, I have a feeling that the constant 12 volt never worked on here. So we'll see, I'm not sure. But I know the dome light works, and that's really all I care about to be honest. But if it doesn't, um, hopefully the wire's not broken there somewhere. Um, but other than that, we got this on and uh, we can start mocking up the headliner and then get her in here, baby. She's ready to party. So let's head, head to the garage and um, <coughs> um, do the headliner. So, all right, see you in a minute. Okay, guys, so for the headliner, um, what we're gonna do now is I'm coming in my little razor blade and just cut a little bit in here. And on this one, I'm gonna make an X. And then I'll probably just do an X on this one too, to be honest. So, and then I, oh, and then we got to attach the dome light because it stays with the headliner. And then I think we'll be ready to go. All right, Axel. Okay, guys, so I think I got the new headliner all, all finished, ready to go. Oops, see, look at that dome light. That dome light looks really good on there. So, I got my little squares cut out for our sun visors. And uh, I think we're ready to party. Pretty stoked, so. Let's go ahead and get in the truck. Um, let me get it started. I'm gonna get it in there and get the overhead console clicked in. So at least the overhead console will be holding it up and uh, plug in the dome light. But man, I'm excited. This thing's coming together pretty quick. All right, mister. Okay, yeah, so I kind of got the headliners in there tucked in the corners. See, the dome light works. Now we're just doing the front part. So let's see how this will look. Sick. Not bad about the lighting, guys. There you go. That looks clean. I like it. I like it. Oh yeah. So um, it's fitting in the corners okay. I'm gonna redo all these in black. All the all the trims in black. But main concern right now is you know get the headliner in. We can do the plastics later. So man, I'm stoked on that. So. All right, well, let's get the visors in and uh, go from there. Okay, guys, so I got this visor in. It's running all good and pretty. 
lights up and everything. Hell yeah. So um, I just ran just two self tappers. Those guys called it a day. <clears throat> it ain't no short truck. I don't need black screws. So this one I'm gonna do the same thing. Uh, I'm gonna feed the little pigtaily. Don't mind that rust. You didn't see that. That's the reason I call it a rust bucket. Wow, so we got that pulled through, so I'll plug her in and uh, run the two screws and then uh, run this guy like that. So let me do that and uh, the headliner will be pretty much done, baby. Okay, guys, so we got the headliner all in. Um, got our visors working with our light. So um, I put this Velcro patch here because there's a crack right here. And honestly, not really looking at myself in the mirror. What's up, guys? So, I don't really care about this, but. Uh, so, come over here. Got a little thing for our sunglasses. Got your little cubby. And then, you got the mirror so the ladies can do their makeup and whatnot. So, I'm pretty stoked. And then, you got full access and everything. Pretty cool. And then, uh, I'm trying to get this garage clicker working. That'd be pretty cool. So we'll see about that. And then uh, you got your dome light. So yeah, I was right. Um, these switches don't work. Well, the switches do, but I think the constant 12 volt. I don't know. I'll look at the fuses later. I don't really care. So let me get these trim pieces and uh, we'll go from there. All right, guys. So now we pretty much got all the headliner done. Um, I just decided I'm going to get all the trim pieces and make them black um, while we're here. Um, the only thing I'm gonna have to do later is change out the seatbelts when we do new seats, but we're just gonna rock gray seatbelts and black everything else. So slowly, one piece of time making, we'll go switch it all over to black, but look at that, that thing looks good. I love it. So what I got is, welcome to the paint booth. <laughs> so we're gonna bedline all these black, pretty much. Um, I basically have a whole extra set of plastics that I got from the junkyard. That I've just been holding on to. Um, I'm just gonna use some Raptor liner. I think I left it in the garage. So let me spray these black, show them, and then um, we'll get them up in here. It'd be pretty cool. Cause um, I, I don't want a gray piece of trim going right here. I'd rather just be all black right now. While wow, we're here, we already got it stripped. So, and then plus like, like, I don't know what happened back here. There was some kind of freaking fire before and these plastic pieces suck. So I have all new sets, so. Let me get them painted and uh, this is gonna be sweet. All right, what's up guys? I gotta lie, I'm running at like half pace. So this project probably took me twice as long as it should have, but I got her done. There's all the old shit plastics that we're gonna probably just take to the dump. Cause they all got like broken clips. Shit, this one's freaking half melted. I don't know how that happened. Um, and they just, they look like real shit. So but let's go check out the truck. It looks pretty sweet. Um, <clears throat> it came out pretty cool. Oh, I'm so stoked. Like it, <laughs> it looks like a new truck. I'm just kidding. But uh, I've never seen anyone do this in OBS. Thinking about it, I think do it. Um, Cause it's not that expensive of a mod. Man, look how good it looks. I'm just kind of, I can't see it. But there's a dome light. Oh man, it looks awesome. But. Let me flip the camera, uh, put the flash on, and uh, show you everything I did, and maybe we'll take it for a little test drive, but I, it feels more like a cockpit kind of feeling with the overhead console right there. Uh, it's, it's pretty cool, so let me flip the camera and we'll show you. All right, guys, check it out. Give you a nice look. Ew, that just looks so much better, especially with the black, all the black trim done in the Raptor liner going from the dash all the way around in the back ones so eventually i would like to do black door panels and then um i have some platinum seats going in and a center console and then you know the dash will probably be last so i'd like to do vinyl floors so eventually go to all black do the black carpet but you know just one project at a time but man it looks awesome i love it i love it and then you got my bad guys Trying to hold the light in. There we go. So yeah, you got this. Here your little lights. 
I love it. I love it. I absolutely love it. It looks so cool. Oh yeah, so I'm gonna go for a drive see if I can get this footage. Uh, maybe tomorrow in the daytime too, so. But yeah, let me take it around the block real quick, but I'm digging the black trim. Not gonna lie, I just gotta get some black seat belts too. But, God, I love that. That looks awesome. It looks clean. Okay guys, here it is in the daytime now. Um, get you a nice little view. Looks pretty good. Oh yeah. Awesome. I like it. Um, digging the Raptor liner. It looks pretty clean. Um, everything, everything's working pretty good. I love it, man. I freaking love it. Looks good. Looks good. So, I'm pretty stoked on it, guys. <clears throat> and then uh, I did these in black too with the little Raptor liner, and then these coming up into here so and then uh painted the covers but i'm gonna try to get black seat belts later because when you do the new seats the clickers are different so we're gonna need the new style anyway so yeah but there it is guys and then um another cool thing if you haven't seen it i put uh <clears throat> 11 to 16 switches in here and stuff those work pretty cool and whatnot so the only thing is uh my door panel the little things are broken here or whatever so this is actually just sitting in there so i screwed my door panels little doors clapped out <laughs> but it is what it is so but other than that guys um i hope you like the little headliner project i did uh, i'm gonna show you the seats i'm gonna put in there but we're gonna put in some 11 to 16 ones right now i think <coughs> um so i got these ones for a steel um, the airbag was blown. Um, got it restitched. So got to put it back on and clean it up. And then we got a center console. Um, that's what we're gonna put in there. But um, I think I'm just gonna. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not a fan of this platinum. So I think what I'm gonna do is just rock them for now till either I find some like King Ranch ones or some like 17 and up ones. So then I can start doing heated and cooled seat harnesses for 17 and up seats. But <coughs> oh god. Alright, other than that guys, I feel like shit. I'll see y'all later. Hope you liked the video.